हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न थर्टी सिक्सटी नाइंटी ट्रायंगल थियोरम वी हैव टू लर्न दिस थियोरम इनटू टू पार्ट्स पार्ट वन फॉर थर्ड साइड अपोजिट टू थर्टी डिग्री एंगल एंड पार्ट टू इज फॉर साइड अपोजिट टू सिक्सटी डिग्री एंगल नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ पार्ट फर्स्ट एंड द स्टेटमेंट इज इफ the acute angles of right angle triangle have measures 30 degree and 60 degree then the length of side opposite to 30 degree angle is half the length of hypotenuse so the first step to prove any theorem is to draw a proper diagram so here is the diagram of right angle triangle abc in which angle a is of 60 degree C is 30 degree and angle B is of 90 degree. So here is given in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree, angle C is equal to 30 degree, and angle A is equals to 60 degree. Now let's see what we have to prove. For that, let's see the consequent part of this statement. See here the length of the side opposite to 30 degree angle is half the length of hypotenuse that is side ab is half of its hypotenuse means ac it means we have to prove that ab is equals to half into ac first we have to do construction here for that take point d on extended segment ab and where the ab is equals to bd and then join point d with point c that is draw segment cd so this is the part of construction now to prove ab is half of ac here we have to make a path to reach that goal means ab is equal to half of ac let's see first what we have here we have by construction that ab is same as bd so it means ab is half of ad we have to prove that ab is half of ac so by construction we get here ab is half of ad so first step is that we have to prove that ad is equals to ac by this step we can prove that ab is half of ac now let's see by proof how to prove ab is equal to half of ac so let's start for the proof here by construction we get here two triangles that is triangle abc and triangle dbc these two triangle we get here now in first step of this proof we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent so let's see how it is by construction we get ab is congruent to bd so we can write it as as a first step segment ab is congruent with segment db and the reason is construction next to that angle abc is of 90 degree similarly angle dbc is also a 90 degree so we can write it as angle abc is congruent with angle dbc and the reason is each angle of 90 degree now pc is the common side in between these two triangle so we can write it as segment bc congruent segment bc and the reason is common side by this three step we can say that these two triangles means triangle abc is congruent with triangle dbc and the reason is side angle side test now as we prove these two triangles are congruent we can say that their corresponding angles means angle a and angle d are congruent so we can write it as angle bac is congruent with angle bdc and the reason is corresponding angles of congruent triangle as we prove that angle a and angle d are congruent it means they are of same measures means angle a is 60 degree so angle d is also of 60 degree that is angle bac is of 60 degree therefore angle 
BDC is also of 60 degree. So let's see in this big triangle that is triangle ACD in this triangle two angles that is angle A and angle D is of 60 degree. It means the remaining angle is the third angle ACD. This angle is also of 60 degree. As we know the sum of all angles of triangle is 180 and here we get angle A and angle D are of 60 degree. It means the remaining angle is also of 60 degree. So here we get triangle ACD as equilateral triangle. As triangle ACD is equilateral triangle, it means it all three sides, means side AD, side AC and side DC, all three sides are of same measures. So we can write it as AC is equals to AD is equals to DC. And the reason is corollary of converse of isosceles triangle theorem. So by that, we get our next step. We know that AB is half of AD. We know that AB is half of AD by our construction. But AD is same as AC. So we can replace AD by AC. And we get here AB is equal to half of AC. As AB and AC are same. So here we prove that AB is equal to half of AC. So this is the first part of this theorem. Now let's start for the second part of this theorem. And the statement is, if the acute angles of a right angle triangle have measures 30 degree and 60 degree, then the length of the side opposite to 60 degree angle is root 3 by 2 into hypotenuse. So this is the second part that we have to prove in this theorem. It is for side opposite to angle 60 degree. So let's start with diagram. So as given part of this statement, we have to draw here a right angle triangle with two acute angles as 60 degree and 30 degree. So the given part of this statement is triangle ABC and angle B is of 90 degree, angle C is of 30 degree and angle A of 60 degree. So in this diagram ABC, we have to prove that the side opposite to 60 means the side BC is root 3 by 2 times of its hypotenuse means by AC. So we have to prove that BC is equal to root 3 by 2 into AC. So let's start for the proof. So to prove the second part of this theorem, we are going to use the result of our first part that is AB is equal to half of AC. Now, let's see in this diagram. In this right angle triangle, we are going to use Pythagoras theorem. By using Pythagoras theorem, we get here AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. So, we can write it as AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Now, we have that AB is equal to 1 upon 2 into AC. Now, replacing AB with 1 upon 2 AC. Now, here AB square. So, we can write it as square of 1 that is 1, square of 2 that is 4 and square of AC that is AC square. So, we get here 1 upon 4 into AC square at the place of AB square. Now, 1 upon 4 into AC square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Now, taking 1 upon 4 AC square on the other side of equal sign, we get here BC square is equal to AC square minus 1 upon 4 into AC square. Subtracting this, we get here BC square is equal to 3 by 4 AC square. Now, taking square root of both sides, we get here BC is equal to root 3 by 2 AC. And that we have to prove. Hence, the proof. So, here we prove 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem in which 
If the acute angle of right angle triangle have measures 30 degree and 60 degree, then the length of side opposite to 30 degree angle is half the length of hypotenuse and side opposite to 60 degree angle is root 3 by 2 into hypotenuse. So, revise the theorem. Now, here is one activity for you. Check out the measures of angles of a set square in your compass box. Whether they are 30, 60 and 90. If yes, verify the property of sides of the set square. Thank you.